so students uh, in this module i'll be talking about rapid application development what is the methodology of rapid application development how it compares with agile this of course is the part of the next module what are the advantages of rapid application development rad what are the disadvantages and how it applies to what we will be doing in the next modules so without further ado uh, i will move on so the basic concept of rapid application development is that it is more focused on the user feedback as compared to following strict deadlines or following strict design or following uh, something strict strictly so the concept of red is that it treats the software development project not as steel but as clay it is malleable it can be molded it can be changed right so this is the basic spirit of the rapid application development so what are the uh, the module contents which we'll be covering so we'll cover the rad methodology and the advantages of rad the disadvantages of rapid application development how rad compares with the agile okay and then of course the rad tools so uh, we'll cover some of the modules contents uh, in the current module and the remaining in the next module so let's go ahead so what is the rad methodology it defines loose requirements loose uh, uh, not in the literally meaning of the word so what is the what is the spirit or the 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 concept of loose used over here the requirements can change unlike the waterfall model okay or the traditional approach where the requirements are fixed okay over here the requirements can change so that is why we call it the loose requirements so what the end uh, user provides to the developers is a vision okay and what the developers get from the client or the customer is a gist of their requirements not the detailed requirements okay not the complete requirements just a gist of the concept of the requirements so this is the first step define loose requirements this is the first step the second step is prototype prototype is not the actual system but something which is a representative of the actual system on a certain level on a certain scale with a certain functionality so what the developers are aiming at to develop something and to show it to the client and what they develop it should satisfy all or some of the requirements of course it's the not the end thing we'll go to those steps okay but it should be reflecting those requirements which were in the gist which were in the vision and of course to achieve this prototyping the developers can cut corners okay they can work with the scope or the play with the scope of the work or the functionality to a certain limit and pay the debt later so what was uh, not covered okay that is covered in more detail at a later stage so get the loose requirements and do the prototyping two steps let's move ahead absorb the feedback okay so how do uh, this feedback is absorbed by the developers from interface to functionality okay so uh, they make this prototype and that prototype is available to the client for review and the client can talk about from interface to functionality covering everything they provide the feedback to the developers and at the same time unlike the waterfall model unlike the traditional models the client can add or delete certain functionality now this deletion is less likely to happen this is less likely to happen i will i will explain it to you why addition can be there but the deletion is less likely to happen and what will be the result 
of this absorbing the feedback either go back to prototyping or go to the next step understood so once we have these loose requirements we have the prototyping we have this absorbing the feedback then of course finalize the product how do you finalize the product optimize or re-engineer optimize so optimize means that the client was happy to a certain extent now they want to improve it optimize or re-engineer and improve the ability ability is the maintainability the stability and the, there are other things you can just uh, put them before ability and connect to the database and write that documentation wonderful documentation so you are through with it okay now let's go to the next slide and which is the advantages of rad rapid application development is uh, obviously is the speed so how do you get the speed and how do you happen to finish the projects on time in the in the waterfall model when the project is submitted the developers cannot go on a vacation why because the end user will come up surely with uh, with uh, with different demands different requirements different changes okay but in the red case since the user is working kind of in sync with the developers so red will finish on time finish on time that is the speed how it will get the speed in the cost in red you are building the system as per the exact kind of requirements of the end user that is how you're building the system but in the waterfall model you may build something right and the end user the client decides it is not worthwhile so you kind of cut down that zombie stuff okay but over here there's no gutting there is no cutting that zombie stuff which was built so there is no loss of time and the time translates into cost so there is no uh, loss of time so cost is reduced and finally is the developer satisfaction waterfall model developers are kind of working in silos because they are detached from the end users or the clients over here the client is in sync so there are more satisfied clients in the red approach and why because the red client is in sync with the developers every step of the way so these are some of the advantages of rapid application development in the next module i'll talk about the disadvantage i'll do the comparison and more interesting stuff thank you for your time